Lots of your prospects choose to see themselves as consistent. They like to follow through on their commitments, or at least, they like to think that they do follow through. When you are looking to grow your business, you are always better off finding a way to go along with what people already want to do than try to force them off their own path and get them to come along to yours. How can you use their consistency bias to promote your business and invite them to partake of your products, services and business opportunity? Here are a few ideas for you to consider. 1. What are their spending habits? Find out whether they like to keep up with the Joneses or whether they penny pinch. Their spending habits will influence how they perceive your offer. How can you find out about this? Ask them, ask their friends, pay attention to what they have, what they wear. Do they seem extravagant? Are they concerned about how they come across to other people? When you start to pay attention to people, you will get a great idea of what they are automatically set up to do. 2. What are the values of their peer group? What groups do your prospects hang out with? These days, you can find out a lot by looking at someone's Facebook profile and researching what their interests are and the interests of their friends. You might start to see some commonalities that can be used to create your marketing material and presentations to help them see how working with you will get them the results they already want. Relate all you say to things that they are interested in. Furry. What is their social status? Or more, to the point, what do they consider their social status to be? The way you position your product and service appeals to a certain person with a certain social status. Consider the person you want to reach and then look at your marketing material and decide if it speaks to their hot buttons. Far. What are their political affiliations or religious affiliations? Again, if your prospect thinks a certain way about the use of your product and service in terms of their political or religious affiliation, then you will struggle to get them to think differently. Don't try. Instead, use words that they would use. Use terms and phrases that fit into their view of the world. 5. What are they proud of? Are they family-oriented? Use that in your marketing. Are they all about business or personal success? Use that in your marketing. Are they purpose-driven? Use terms that feel mission-driven, that appeal to their sense of purpose and calling. There is a wonderful book called Words That Sell, get it, and use it to come up with words that appeal to different people, and then use that in your marketing to get people to respond.